just had an entire song leak and now we know when his album comes out now the eminem discord organized a group buy which basically means it's a donation goal and if people donate enough money to reach the goal then a leaker will post the full song i don't support leaking music at all i think that's kind of a messed up thing to do the artists put all their work into it and they clearly don't want you to hear it yet but people donated pretty quickly and they ended up hitting the goal and then the leaker did end up posting the song now i can't play it for you here i don't really support leaking music at all and youtube would copyright strike me however if you do want to find it it's not on YouTube, I don't believe, because it gets taken down so fast. But I do have a Discord, and people post a lot of Eminem content in there. That's all I'm gonna say. An interviewer did end up asking LL Cool J about this leak, asking if it was real, and he responded. So I'm gonna play the clip right now. That AI was that this M and this Eminem and you was real. I can't believe that's a terrible yo. That's so bad. It's not AI, bro. But okay, it ain't, I'm just, it, I'm it's just not, making sure. I'm just making yeah, sure. Yeah, it's not AI, but it's not official. It's not the right version. Okay. They just be over the top and just people just be dabbling and just i don't even know what like why even do that it's like calm down so you can see him laugh it off obviously kind of annoyed about it though he says that that wasn't the final version of the song so it means they must have changed it a little bit since that leak but yeah it is a real leak it is a real song but it's not the official version i just want to say one more time please do not leak artist music because it just pushes back the release date makes it worse for all the fans because they have to wait longer like i said because we've seen what it did for encore i mean i just made a video on it the artist makes a good song it gets leaked and then they have to rush to make another version of it just ruins it for all the fans pushes back the release date nothing good comes from leaking music I feel like I'm pulling this up in every video at this point, but Eminem is number 6 in the world right now. He was number 5 a couple days ago, but number 6 right now, 84,900,000 monthly listeners. Pretty safe to say that with the next single and the next album, he's going to be pushed into the top 3. That leads us to this Eminem Instagram post he made a couple days ago. I know by the time this video comes out, this song is probably released, so if it has, expect a video on that soon. But yeah, it's dropping Tuesday night, here's the trailer to it. Shit, fuck, shit, boy, huh. Toby McGuire got bit by a spider, but see, me, it was a goat. So yeah, Baby Tron, Big Sean, and Eminem, the Detroit trio. And if you caught that Spider-Man bar, basically instead of getting bit by a spider, he got bit by a goat, turning him into a goat. That reminds me of the Venom soundtrack. Maybe instead of partnering with Venom, it's gonna be Spider-Man this time. Maybe this is going on the Spider-Man movie. Totally possible. I'm probably outdated saying this right now. But yeah, stick around. I'll make a video on this when it does come out. The song comes out July 2nd at midnight, and the video comes out July 5th. It's a Cole Bennett music video, both at midnight Eastern time. I'm very hyped for this because I'm a big Eminem fan and a Baby Tron fan. Before we move on and talk about the album release date, I want to thank SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. If you want to go to a sports game nowadays or an Eminem show or a concert or any of that, chances are the tickets are going to be expensive. That's where SeatGeek comes in. Not only did they give you a score of 0 to 10 on how good the deal is, but you also get $20 off your ticket if you use the code It's Mason. So if you're planning to go to any concert or any event that requires a ticket, you might as well use it. Once again, it's a free $20 off your ticket. Just use the code It's Mason at checkout. Thanks again to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. Moving on to the album release date, Eminem posted this trailer one hour ago. We're going to go through it. I don't think I can play those first couple seconds. I don't know if YouTube will let me, but this lady just gave birth, basically. He's not breathing. Wait, what's going on? What's, yeah. what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Hark up the heart monitor. Yeah. It'll be okay. Yeah. Gotta calm yeah. down. Uh. <laughs> no. Oh my god. What in the name of God? What did you do to him? <gasps> what the fuck? Holy shit! As you can see right here, clear as day, July 12th, and the frame right before it. Death of Slim Shady, that's like the exact same as the Slim Shady LP art. I'll put up a picture right now. But yeah, July 12th, and then he's dropping the Toby song that's probably already out by now. So this rollout is really becoming a thing. It's really starting out. We're about to see the album very soon, seeing all the promotion right now. And yeah, very excited. Usually people want to go 0 to 100, but I'm going from 100 to 0. The album release date is straight to a Fortnite emote. Let me know if that's worth the V-Bucks to you. Something else that's kind of cool is that an original 1996 unsealed version of Infinite by Eminem was sold for over $60,000. We know Infinite didn't sell very well before Eminem was even popular, but apparently someone bought it and held it until now, and they sold a signed version for $60,000. Seems like a pretty good investment. But yeah, the song Toby should be out by now. 
The album comes out on July 12th. There should be a music video out as well for Toby coming later this week. And yeah, rollout's happening right now. Remember, the leaked song is out with LL Cool J. Not officially, but you can find ways to listen to it if you want. I don't really blame you if you don't want to listen to an unfinished song. But yeah, very exciting time. We're getting tons of information every single day. So if you want to stay up to date, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I make videos on Eminem all the time. But real quick, I do want to say Eminem's albums are all amazing. Like even his worst projects, if someone else dropped them, people would love them. But I do keep seeing people questioning why I like Relapse so much. Now, I think it's his best concept album he's ever done. I've stood by that, like, forever now. I think as far as all of his albums go, the best concept he's ever put out was Relapse. It had the whole murder, serial killer story to it. And I really like how it was executed. Yes, there is a couple songs like Insane or maybe even My Mom that you could argue are maybe skips for you. But I think it's important to remember the concept to it, right? So, like, My Mom or Insane are basically what affected him into turning into who he was what he turned to and then you watch him evolve into like the tanya skit and then like the murder scenes and just where he goes to from there be careful what you wish for towards the end of the album so yeah in that way i feel like it's laid out perfectly and it feels like a whole movie when you're listening to the album now as far as impact goes i'd have to give it to one of the first three just like most of you probably do i don't hear a lot of people saying they were impacted by the album relapse by eminem but who knows so yeah that's just my take on my favorite eminem album i saw a lot of people confused as to why i liked relapse so much so that's why but i say all that to say what's your favorite eminem album because i've been seeing a lot of different answers even people are saying music to be murdered by kamikaze which i have never considered to be his best albums but that just kind of goes to show you with the stacked discography you can basically pick any album and it has a good fight for why it's the best album by him if i had to guess you guys are mostly going to say the eminem show where the marshall mathers lp but yeah type it down below and yeah thank you for all the support recently if you want to see more eminem videos you can click right up here i got eminem videos i got rap videos tier list rankings updates all of that everything music and yeah let me know your thoughts on toby because i haven't heard it yet it comes out in three hours my time give the video a thumbs up if you like it thumbs down if you didn't thank you for watching peace out who is the greatest artist of all time uh well me personally i like sleepy hollow he has some really great music but i also like mgk his diss on eminem was pretty good and even though it killed his rap career he makes pretty good hip-hop too I'm not gonna lie about that. I also like Snoop Dogg. Just cause he's a DL double G. And yeah. Hey, bro, are you done? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, give me that. No, I'm not done. Uh, Sleepy Hollow, Snoop Dogg, MGK. What else we got? Ice Spice. You know, she makes some pretty cool music. I'd honestly put her at a top one above Snoop Dogg, above Eminem, you know, all that shit. Cause Yo, she's a. Shorts can only be 10 minutes. Because <laughs> she's a female and feminism rocks. Thank you. You gotta be studied. <laughs>